Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi crypto and web tree tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna cover my favorite YouTube channels and teachers and educators on YouTube of learning web tree programming, web tree development. So if you want to kickstart your career in web tree development, build the future of the financial world and move forward in your current career and get like crazy salaries also, make sure to watch this video to learn from who to learn because in this channel I have a lot of DeFi and web tree and crypto tutorials but I cannot cover anything that's why you gotta learn from the best and today I'm gonna represent you the best and before we get started make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button so when I post this kind of educational tutorials you can watch them as soon as possible now without further ado let's get started All right, so the first number one teacher, in my opinion, for Web3 development is Nader Dabit. I hope I say correctly his name. He's a great guy. He used to be an engineer in Amazon, and basically he left Amazon in order to focus on Web3. He also initiated developers Web3 DAO, and he creates amazing, useful tutorials on YouTube. I myself did uh, fully some of his tutorials and that's how I got introduced to Hardert at and Next.js, one of the leading technologies in the stack of Web3 development. The most important thing when learning from Nader Dabit is that he is actually using the most recent tech, the most recent framework. So when you develop in Solidity in Web3 programs and frameworks, you don't want to use old outdated lab libraries that basically are outdated and are not maintained anymore. And Nader is always teaching with the most new libraries, the most new technology, which is Hardet, Next.js, working with IPFS, with Lenses. So that's why I love his tutorials and also is quite a good teacher. Not quite nice to listen to him and to follow the tutorials. And another actually adventure advantage with Nader Dabit tutorials is that every tutorial that he does, he actually has a blog post. So sometimes you don't want to watch the video or you just prefer to read it, then he has his blog where the tutorial is basically there as well. For example, this tutorial that I just completed recently where you can build your own Web3 blog. If something doesn't work, you can just go to the blog post and copy the code snippet from the blog in order to fix it or try to understand why it doesn't work. So if you go here to the description, you can see that this tutorial is also here in his blog. That's another David and that's why I love his content so much. Check it out definitely in the description of this video. I will put link for his channel. The second favorite channel is DAP University. This is more generic channel about DAPs and crypto in like a programming oriented. Also, this DAP University, this guy has a lot of useful tutorials that I myself did. And if we talk about Nader before, now this guy sometimes use uh, other frameworks and sometimes older technologies, but he also uses Hardet, which is my, in my opinion, is the best framework for Solidity and smart contracts development. But sometimes he has tutorials with Truffle or like some kind of old libraries. So make sure that you are always keeping up with the most recent frameworks and recent libraries and be relevant all the time. But actually he has pretty good tutorials to get started with Solidity, with Web3, with Ethers. So definitely check out DAP University in the link in the description below. Another amazing channel, technical channel is Eat The Blocks. Julian, my favorite French guy, having awesome tutorials. Some of them are quite short and simple. Some of them are long like Howard Plus where you can actually do it with him and if your way if you like learning from YouTube videos, this is another guy that you should use and learn from his tutorials. Great content, great tutorials. Check out the playlist, check out the videos, a lot of different tutorials for ERC721, NFTs, DeFi, everything in this channel in Web3 development. Now, last but not least is Morales Web3. Morales is basically an infrastructure project, which means that they run their own nodes for Ethereum, for Polygon, for Phantom, for different blockchains, and they give you 
access to the blockchain. So it's Web3 infrastructure blockchain that also created some kind of academy and a lot of educational video tutorials in order to basically increase Web3 adoption, Web3 development ad adoption. And this is great. So Moralis also have a lot of different tutorials where you can get started and learn how to build Web3 applications, if it's DEXs, NFT marketplaces, whitelist applications, minting, airdrops, etc. Great tutorials, great teachers, great quality, great tools, just one disadvantage in my opinion. Morales obviously want you to use their platform and their SDK. Now, rather than blockchain RPC node access, they also provide SDK and APIs, which means that they wrap for you a lot of functionalities. So instead of you, let's say you want to grab the volume that was in the last 24 hours in Uniswap. So instead of you going to the Uniswap contract and learning basically the low level of how contracts works and how to get data from contracts and how to work with contracts, with smart contracts, they wrap the functions for you with their APIs, which is great because they save you a lot of work. But if you want to learn in depth and actually get to know and learn better smart contracts, it's not always good when they wrap it out for functions for you and they make your life easier. And of course, they want you to use their API and SDK so you will be used and attached to their platform and their development kit, which is actually good if you're planning to develop in Morales and you're planning to use, but what happens when they don't support some of the API. You don't know how to implement the stuff yourself. That's why recently I'm basically staying away from Morales tutorials because in every tutorial now they import their SDK and they solve the problem with just a Morales SDK dot contract dot send or something. So I want to know the more generic tools. I want to know the Ethers library, the Hardet uh, framework. So that's why I'm, I, I used to, to learn from Morales and actually it's a feedback for Morales. Actually, if you can make like more generic tutorials, so when you basically teach how to use Morales SDK, also teach how to use the more generic tools. And because let's say in the future, your SDK and Morales API will not support some kind of functionality. As a developer, I want to be able to implement it by myself. So that's all about it. This is the top YouTube channels. If you like to learn from videos and become a Web3 developer, definitely check out Nader Dabit, check out Dab University, Eat the Blocks, and Morales. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and or if you want to add any resources, any other good tutorials, good teachers, good educators, please feel free to write them in the comments below or let's talk about it in the Discord community. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button for the algorithm and I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.